So apparently Conor McGregor is suddenly into the idea of buying Liverpool because he mentioned that he loves the team and even asked for information. But Liverpool isn't the only team he's interested in because he also has his eye on Manchester United and Chelsea. Who's it going to be? While there are rumors that Liverpool might be up for sale by the club's owners, are they even true though? Let's find out. First up, which of the teams is up for grabs? This past week, the Fenway Sports Group, or FSG, apparently put up the Reds for sale. According to the British News newspaper, The Athletic. They made this decision after all the pressure on the ownership group, whose lack of commitment to the first team roster has contributed to the team's dramatic decline, at least in the eyes of supporters. Liverpool is now in eighth place in the Premier League after winning just five of their first 13 games, and angry fans have been publicly protesting FSG in recent weeks. Meanwhile, UFC superstar Conor McGregor has shown interest in taking over the club by telling a fan on social media that he has asked for information regarding ownership of the football club. Moving on, can McGregor afford to buy Liverpool? The Irishman's net worth is estimated to be in the neighborhood of $200 million after he came in first on Forbes' list of the highest paid athletes in the world in 2021. But despite his wealth, the 34-year-old lacks the financial muscle to own Liverpool without the support of a big organization, especially considering the fact that FSG hasn't even disclosed how much the 2018 to 2019 UEFA Champions League champions are worth. After FSG acknowledged they could sell the team. Conor McGregor declared he would love to own Liverpool FC. The Athletic reported on November 7 that FSG has placed Liverpool up for sale and is getting ready to consider proposals from potential buyers. FSG has openly stated that they would think about selling the football club if it was in the best interest of the Premier League team. Responding to a fan who had urged McGregor to buy the club, the former UFC champion tweeted that he would love it. That too, in all caps. Next up, why is McGregor interested in buying a team? Earlier this year, when Chelsea FC was put up for sale. McGregor showed interest then too. The thing is, the Irishman already has business ventures outside the octagon, having set up the whiskey brand Proper 12 in 2018. Maybe he just wants to expand his investment portfolio, because let's face it, McGregor hasn't competed since he suffered a broken leg in a second consecutive defeat to Dustin Poirier in July 2021. He's probably trying to make the most of the money he has right now until he can step back into the octagon and make some more. McGregor was supposed supposed to return to the ring before the year was up, but he isn't officially registered with the USADA pool. Before competing, fighters must have spent at least six months in the pool. Moving on, what are the chances of McGregor buying Liverpool? According to reports from the Fenway Sports Group, which owns Liverpool, is thinking about selling the team to another buyer. Plus, McGregor isn't the only one showing interest. FSG has received a lot of interest from external parties looking to become Liverpool shareholders. But FSG will only consider shareholders if it's in the best best interests of Liverpool as a club. Ultimately, the current owners are focused on Liverpool's success both on and off the pitch, whether or not they sell it. It's still unknown who might end up buying Liverpool in the end, but they don't have a shortage of potential buyers. If they do decide to go with McGregor, they'll probably evaluate what McGregor will bring to the table compared to the competition before they set their mind on him. Plus, there have been several rumors on Twitter about potential buyers for the club. There are some extremely rich potential buyers from the Middle East, including those from countries like Dubai and Qatar, with connections to American investment groups and other wealthy billionaires who are drafting a big offer for the British giant. Now for how much Liverpool is worth. Despite his interest, McGregor's net worth wouldn't be enough to buy the club because it's rumored to be worth around four or five billion pounds. We're talking about billions here, while McGregor's net worth is just a quarter of a billion dollars. So if he actually wants to buy the club, he'll need some help to make it happen, maybe from a rich Middle Eastern friend. Who knows? This is isn't the first time that the UFC superstar has shown interest in a super club in England either. McGregor is also a United fan because he admitted that back in 2021, along with the fact that he would like to buy his boyhood club from the Glazer family. He even asked his fans on Twitter if he should go for it, asking them what they think about him buying Manchester United. So it's fair to say this isn't the first time McGregor has shown interest in a football club. Next up, why was Connor's mom under fire? After a controversial Halloween costume, Connor's mom came under fire for a questionable decision decision that she should have thought twice about taking. McGregor and his family dressed in very different kinds of outfits to enjoy the Halloween event on October 31st. While his wife dressed as a stewardess, the Irishman decided to dress as an aircraft captain. The fact that they had all eyes on them when they came to the event isn't something new though. McGregor and other UFC athletes usually attract media attention for their creative Halloween outfits. McGregor's mother's outfit definitely raised some eyebrows, but McGregor and his wife were complimented for the costumes they chose. Let's talk about her costume. 
Margaret McGregor was dressed as a scary character, but the weird part was that she also had her face covered in black paint. It didn't take very long for the people there to raise eyebrows, because in their eyes, they thought she was just being incredibly racist. Imagine a white person with black paint on their face. What would you think? McGregor's management then issued a statement in which they addressed the controversial outfit. In their statement, they clarified that Mrs. McGregor was dressed as a ghoul with spiders painted on her face. To be fair, it seems like a pretty logical answer. It was more like a wrong place, wrong outfit kind of situation, if anything. But even still, McGregor has been linked to racial controversies and racism accusations. Before his money battle with Floyd Mayweather, his comment to a reporter to dance for me boy during a news conference was regarded as something that was super racist. Not to mention, he claimed to be black. Of course, Connor being Connor, he has always been that guy. In his fight promotion against Mayweather, he claimed to be half black from the waist down, which was clearly a racist comment. The only reason his mother got some backlash was because most people knew the notorious family can be racist from time to time. McGregor is always doubling and tripling down on racist taunts. You see, it's about what type of mood McGregor's in. At one moment, you'll catch him being racist against black people, and at another, you might see him disrespecting black women. But at the end of the day, everybody, including his fans, knows that he's not really racist, and this is mostly an act. Since deep down, McGregor is actually a pretty nice guy off the stage or podium when he's standing next to his opponent. Not to mention, this isn't the first time Conor McGregor has been publicly accused of being racist. He was also racist against Shanid O'Connor in April 2020. But hey, all this sells tickets because all the showboating entices UFC fans. Finally, how did social media react? After the Irishman posted the pictures on Instagram, just like the people at the Halloween event, everybody on social media thought it was extremely racist of McGregor's mother. But since the family has given a statement that it was just spiders painted on the face of a ghoul who rose from the dead, it's a pretty cool costume, honestly. The truth is, the McGregor family loves Halloween and goes all out for it because it's a special kind of holiday. But some people still thought it was a cover, despite it being a simple misunderstanding. But if we really think about it, it's a very serious racist remark that anyone of African heritage would be offended by. Blackface actually has racist roots, because in the 1800s, many white actors in theaters would paint their faces dark black to play out exaggerated stereotypes of African people. It wasn't until the mid-20th century when all African Americans were liberated. Before that, it was the old normal, so people of color didn't take this kind of thing very well. But even though it was just a harmless misunderstanding, how would you react if you saw someone with blackface? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for today. Today. If you like the video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.